स्टूडेंट्स अज की क्लास में असी उन्होंने ऑरगैनिक कंपाउंडस बारे जा नाइट्रोजन होंगी है अमीनस अखवाद अमीनस बहुत इंपोर्टेंट ऑरगैनिक कंपाउंडस हैं क्योंकि ये प्रोटीन सिंथेसिस इंपोर्टेंट रोल प्ले करते हैं स्टूडेंट्स सीधे तौर पर असी कह सकते हाँ कि अमीनस उन्होंने अमोनिया मोलीक्यूल्स के ग्रुप्स हैं जिन्हों ऑरगैनिक ग्रुप्स जलकाइल और एराइल ग्रुप्स द्वारा एक जो तो वाइड्रोजन एटम्स न रिप्लेस करते हैं एन अमीन हैविंग द जनरल फॉर्मूला आर एन एच टू आर टू एन एच और आर थ्री एन आर रिस्पैक्टिवली प्राइमरी सकेंडरी एंड टर्जरी अमीनस वेयर आर इज एनी एलकाइल और एराइल ग्रुप children let us begin with the nomenclature of amines let us first try to learn about the iupac naming of amines aliphatic amines are named by naming the alkyl group or groups attached to nitrogen and followed by the word amine more complicated ones are often named by prefixing amino or एन मिथाइल एमिनो एन एन डाई इथाइल एमिनो एसेट्रा टू द नेम ऑफ द पेरेंट चेन लेटस हैव अ लुक एट फ्यू एग्जाम्पल्स टर्शरी ब्यूटाइल एमीन जो कि एक प्राइमरी एमीन हैं मिथाइल इथाइल एमीन जो कि एक सेकेंडरी एमीन है डाई मिथाइल सेकेंडरी ब्यूटाइल एमीन जो कि एक टर्शरी एमीन है गामा एमिनो ब्यूटाइरिक एसिड जो कि एक प्राइमरी एमीन है टू एमिनो इथेनॉल और इथेनॉल एमीन जो कि एक एमीन है टू एन मिथाइल एमिनो हेप्टेन जो कि एक सेकेंडरी एमीन है एरोमेटिक एमीन्स आर दोज इन विच Nitrogen is attached directly to an aromatic ring. These are generally named as derivatives of the simplest aromatic amine aniline. An amino toluene is given the special name of toluidine. Let us now look briefly at the stereochemistry of nitrogen. Nitrogen uses sp3 orbitals which are directed to the corners of a tetrahedron as shown on the screen three of these orbitals overlap with s orbitals of hydrogen or carbon the fourth contains an unshared pair of electrons amines then are like ammonia pyramidal and with nearly the same bond angles for example 108 degree in trimethyl amine as shown on the screen let us analyze structures shown on the screen we can see that a molecule in which nitrogen carries three different groups is not superimposable on its mirror image it is chiral and should exist in two enantiomeric forms as shown on screen by figures 1 and 2 we may expect it to show optical activity but such enantiomers can't be isolated can you predict why it is so let me tell you this is because the energy barrier between the two pyramidal arrangements about nitrogen is ordinarily so low that they are rapidly interconverted the rapid inversion about nitrogen prevents isolation of enantiomers you see on the screen that the two mirror images are interconvertible this process is called flipping Children let us now learn about 
preparation of amines. Aniline, the most important amine, is prepared in several ways. Let us take up the first one. Reduction of nitrobenzene by iron and dilute hydrochloric acid or catalytic hydrogenation. Nitrobenzene on heating with iron and 30% hydrochloric acid forms anilinium chloride which on treatment with sodium carbonate forms aniline. Let us take up the second one now. Treatment of chlorobenzene with ammonia at high temperatures and high pressures in the presence of a catalyst. Chlorobenzene reacts with ammonia in the presence of cuprous oxide at 200 degrees centigrade and 60 atmosphere pressure to give aniline. We will now learn about the industrial preparation of methylamine, dimethylamine and trimethylamine. In this reaction, ammonia is heated at 450 degree centigrade and in presence of aluminium oxide with methyl alcohol to form methylamine. The methyl amine formed further reacts with methanol and forms dimethylamine. Dimethylamine formed reacts with another molecule of methanol to form trimethylamine. Next preparation of amines is from acids. Acid reacts with ammonia when heated to form amide, which on further heating forms nitrile. Nitrile reacts with hydrogen in presence of nickel or platinum to form amine. Let us now learn about reduction of nitro compounds. By catalytic hydrogenation using molecular hydrogen by chemical reduction. Children, on the screen, ethyl para nitrobenzoate reacts with hydrogen in presence of platinum to form ethyl para amino benzoate. Similarly, the para nitroaniline. When heated with tin and hydrochloric acid, forms paraphenylidene diamine. One nitropropane reacts with iron in presence of hydrochloric acid to form N propylamine. This method cannot be used when the molecule also contains some other easily hydrogenated group such as carbon-carbon double bond. This means that nitroarenes can be reduced to primary aryl amines. Typical reducing agents include iron hydrogen ion, tin hydrogen ion or catalytic hydrogenation that is hydrogen in presence of palladium. Nitroarenes are prepared by the nitration of aromatics. This is probably the most important method for the synthesis of anilines that is aromatic amines. Children, let us now have a look at reaction of halides with ammonia or amines. Many organic halogen compounds are converted into amines by treatment with aqueous or alcoholic solutions of ammonia as shown on the screen. Reaction between an alkyl halide and ammonia. Halide ion being more electronegative pulls electrons towards itself acquiring a partial negative charge and the alkyl ion 
acquiring a partial positive charge. This is attacked by ammonia which acts as a nucleophile. This follows SN2 mechanism. NH bond breaks thereby forming a primary amine and the resulting hydrogen ion gets electrons from lone pairs of ammonia to form an ammonium ion. The products formed are primary amine and ammonium ion. Then another molecule of alkyl halide reacts with primary amine to form a secondary amine and subsequently tertiary amine and quaternary ammonium salts are formed from which the free amine can be liberated by treatment with hydroxide ion. Let us now talk about reductive amination of carbonyls that is RCHO and R2CO. Aldehydes that is RCHO and ketones that is R2CO can be reduced into amines by using sodium cyanohydrido borate. Reaction involves reduction of an intermediate compound that is an imine RCH double bond NH or R2C double bond NH. Reductive amination is a two step process in which an aldehyde or ketone are converted into amines. When a nucleophile like ammonia attacks the aldehyde or ketone, an imine is formed along with water. Imine formed is reduced in presence of nascent hydrogen into primary amine. We will now have a look at another reaction where ketone reacts with ammonia in presence of hydrogen and nickel or sodium cyanoborohydride that is NaBH3Cn to form primary amine. Under similar conditions, when a ketone reacts with a primary amine to form secondary amine and similarly, when a secondary amine reacts with hydrogen in presence of nickel, a tertiary amine is formed. Let us now have a look at reduction of nitriles. Reduction of nitriles produces a primary amine that has one more carbon atom than the alkyl halide from which the nitrile was made. Reduction of nitrile takes place in presence of hydrogen and a catalyst to form a primary amine. In the same way, benzyl chloride reacts with sodium cyanide to form phenyl acetonitrile that is benzyl cyanide which on further reduction with hydrogen in presence of nickel at 140 degree centigrade forms beta phenyl ethyl amine. Similarly, 1,4-dichlorobutane reacts with sodium cyanide to form adiponitrile which further reduces to form hexamethylidine diamine which is also known as 1,6-diaminohexane in presence of hydrogen and nickel. Let us now learn about Hoffman's degradation of amides. The Hoffman degradation of amides has the feature of decreasing the length of a carbon chain by one carbon atom. An alkyl amine or an aromatic amine is formed by reacting amide with hypobromide that is solution containing sodium hydroxide and bromine. For example, caproamide that is hexanamide reacts with KOBr to form n-pentyl amine. Similarly, 
metabromobenzamide reacts with KOBr to form metabromoaniline. Let us now learn about alkylation of thalamide or gabaryl synthesis of primary alkyl amines. We see that thalamide reacts with potassium hydroxide and alkyl halide along with hydrazine to form primary alkyl amine. Let us now discuss the advantage of this method. The advantage of this method is that over alkylation is avoided. Aryl amines cannot be prepared via this method since aryl halides do not undergo simple nucleophilic substitution. Let us now learn about mechanism of the reaction. Step 1 is an acid base reaction. Deprotonation of the imide that is NH proton by the base hydroxide. This proton is more acidic than a simple amine due to the resonance stabilization by the two adjacent carbonyl groups that is C double bond O groups. This generates a strong nucleophile the negative nitrogen. In the step 2 the nucleophile attacks the electrophilic carbon of the alkyl halide displacing the bromide and creating the new CN bond. This product can be compared to an N-alkyl amide. In the step 3, the amide can be cleaved via a mechanism analogous to that of amides. Hydrolysis creates the dicarboxylic acid and the required amine. Let us now learn about reduction of azides. As you see on the screen, azides RN3 can be reduced to primary amines RNH2. Reagents used are ether lithium aluminium hydride that is LiAlH4 or ether solvent or catalytic hydrogenation, for example, hydrogen in presence of palladium. Alkyl azides are prepared by nucleophilic substitution, that is SN2 reaction by azidine, or primary or secondary alkyl halides. Children, we will now learn about physical properties of amines. Like ammonia, amines are polar compounds. They form intermolecular hydrogen bonds as you are seeing on the screen. Amines the boiling point, same molecular weight they non-polar compounds na lo, higher hunda hai, par alcohols or carboxylic acids to cut boiling point hunda hai. Amines of all three classes are capable of forming hydrogen bonds with water. As a result, smaller amines are quite soluble in water, with borderline solubility being reached at about 6 carbon atoms. Amines are soluble in less polar solvents like ether, alcohol, benzene, etc. The methylamines and ethylamines smell very much like ammonia. The higher alkylamines have decidedly fishy odors. Aromatic amines are generally very toxic. They are readily absorbed through the skin, often with fatal results. Aromatic amines are very easily oxidized by air. And although most are colorless when pure, they are often encountered discolored by oxidation products. Children, we will now learn about sorts of amines. Aliphatic amines are about as basic as ammonia, whereas aromatic amines are considerably less basic. Jadonke amine, hydroxide ion or 
ਇਥੋਕਸਾਈਡ ਆਇਨ ਦੇ ਮੁਕਾਬਲੇ ਵੀਕਰ ਬੇਸਿਸ ਹਨ ਪਰ ਇਹ ਅਲਕੋਹਲਸ ਈਥਰਸ ਐਸਟਰਸ ਵਾਟਰ ਐਕਸੈਟਰਾ ਨਾਲੋਂ ਸਟਰੋਂਗਰ ਬੇਸਿਸ ਹਨ ਐਸ ਡਿਪਿਕਟਡ ਇਨ ਦ ਫਿਗਰ ਔਨ ਦ ਸਕਰੀਨ ਐਕਵਿਸ ਮਿਨਰਲ ਐਸਿਡਸ ਔਰ ਕਾਰਬੋਕਸਿਲਿਕ ਐਸਿਡਸ ਰੇਡਿਲੀ ਕਨਵਰਟ ਅਮੀਨਸ ਇਨਟੂ देयर ਸੋਲਟਸ ਐਕਵਿਸ ਹਾਈਡ੍ਰੋਕਸਾਈਡ ਆਇਨ ਰੇਡਿਲੀ ਕਨਵਰਟਸ ਦ ਸੋਲਟਸ ਬੈਕ ਇਨਟੂ ਦ ਫ੍ਰੀ ਅਮੀਨਸ let us now study about chemical properties of amines we will first learn about basicity of amines the basicity of amines is an interesting property and is related to structure amines are more basic than analogous alcohols that is rnh3 positive dissociation constant is approximately equal to 10 R OH2 positive dissociation constant is approximately equal to -3 factors such as resonance electronegativity etc that affect the availability of the lone pair will affect the basicity nitrogen is less electronegative than oxygen and therefore nitrogen is a better electron donor alkyl and non aromatic heterocyclic amines are slightly stronger bases than ammonia aryl amines are much weaker bases than ammonia a result of the delocalization of the lone pair into the pi system of the ring we will now learn about inductive effects and basicity of aliphatic amines on protonation of amines ammonium salts are formed have a look at the equations on the screen the greater the inductive effect of the alkyl that is the r group the greater the electron density at nitrogen and the more basic the amine the greater the inductive effect the more stable the ammonium cation the more basic the amine the dissociation constant values should increase steadily as more alkyl groups are introduced on nitrogen however the dissociation constant values are determined in water and more hydrogen atoms on the positively charged nitrogen the greater the extent of hydrogen bonding between water and the cation is solvation nal nh bonds wale cations da stabilization hunda hai in organic solvents which solvate the cation the order of dissociation constant is expected to be shown on screen the presence of minus i or minus m groups on nitrogen reduces the basicity and hence for example amides are poor bases children we will now learn about mesomeric effects and basicity of aryl or aromatic amines the lone pair of electrons on the nitrogen atom of aniline can be stabilized by the delocalization of the electrons onto the 2 4 and 6 positions of the benzene ring aromatic amines are therefore less basic than aliphatic amines j m groups nu 2 4 and or 6 positions but not at 3 or 5 positions they introduce kite jande han ta anion nu delocalization to vad stabilized kita ja sakda hai as the negative charge can be spread on to the m group is de karan amine di basicity reduce ho jandi hai if minus i groups are introduced on the benzene ring
the order of minus i stabilization is 2 position is greater than 3 position is greater than 4 position. This reduces the basicity of the amine. If plus M groups, for example, OME are introduced at the 2, 4 or 6 position of amino benzene, then the basicity is increased. This is because the M group donates electron density to the carbon atom bearing the amine group. Ammonia de Wang amines which we nitrogen ote lone pairs of electrons honda hai is the result de tor te amines chemical properties pakho ammonia nal resemble kar de han. The tendency of nitrogen to share this pair of electrons underlies the entire chemical behavior of amines, their basicity, their action as nucleophiles. The equation on the screen shows amines as a base and as a nucleophile. In both cases, quaternary ammonium salts are formed. The non-bonding electron pair makes amine both a base and a nucleophile. Let us now discuss some reactions of amine showing its basic character. You can see on the screen that an acid base reaction taking place to form conjugate acid. To favor the products, the dissociation constant of the acid must be less than 10. Like ammonia, amines are converted into their salts by aqueous mineral acids and are liberated from their salts by aqueous hydroxides. Like ammonia, therefore, amines are more basic than water and less basic than hydroxide ion. Let us take an example. Aniline reacts with hydrochloric acid to form Anilinium chloride, also known as aniline hydrochloride. Ring substitution in aromatic amines. Aniline reacts with bromine to form 246-tribromoaniline. Aniline reacts with Acetic anhydride to form acetinalide. Acetinalide further reacts with bromine to form parabromoacetinalide, which on hydrolysis in acidic medium forms parabromoaniline. We will next learn about Hoffman elimination from quaternary ammonium salts. Quaternary ammonium ion on heating in basic medium forms alkene and tertiary amine and water. Let us now learn about reactions with nitrous acid. Primary aromatic amines react with nitrous acid to form disonium salts, whereas primary aliphatic amines forms primary alcohols by reacting with nitrous acid. Secondary aromatic amines or aliphatic amines react with nitrous acid to form an nitrosoamine.
children we learnt today about the preparation and properties of amines i hope you must have gained an understanding about them now i hope you must have enjoyed today's session see you next